FHRC Brony here, and I gotta tell you, I am tired as crap right now. Tired. Because I spent almost two hours, probably that's just an exaggeration, I spent a lot of time working on this track to slash here. And you'd be like, there's nothing different on your slash. I don't know why you're taking too long just to do something that's useless on your Courtney Force slash. Uh, let's put it this way. I gave it a makeover. Uh huh. I gave, like I said, I gave it. <laughs> got nothing else to say, but other than just, I gave this car a different makeover. And what I mean by that, it's now LCG'd. Uh, this one, this came out of my. Um, the chassis came out of my other slash, so, and I just basically took off the electronics and just put these, put the Courtney Force parts in here, and I gotta tell you, it was the longest, the longest, entiring two, one to two hours of my life. Uh, but the good thing is, it's all here, so what I've done is, uh, I basically took the other chassis out which is this one right here this is the original chassis so you can see with the get the broken nerf bars and this front section right here came off from my other slash and this rear end over here came from my from my other slash you probably got to see that yeah so I took those parts out and put the Courtney Force edition parts in here, and because uh, I, I had to put some parts back on my Rustler, so um, that will that needs to be working again. I want to get that thing running because I want a slash and a Rustler to be driving. Well, I don't want two. Sl I don't always have to drive two slashes. I want to drive a Rustler too. Um, so I took that out and put these in. And uh, another, I gotta tell you, despite the two hours and stuff like that, you know, there was even more pain as well. Um, putting the front section of the truck and putting the electronics on, especially with the onboard audio system, is a total nightmare. Um, I was having difficulties putting in the the. Um, little screws that go underneath this little front bumper where this little section of the front bumper connects to the chassis itself I was uh, legitimately dying here so I was kind of mad at that so but all in all though it's all it's all in there it's not gonna fall off or anything and no I don't have a brushless system yet because like I said I my other my Mamba Max ESC caught on fire yeah, it ignited. So I'm gonna. Uh, I'm in a need for a new brushless system. But despite that, of the fire, the motor's still fine. I still got the motor. It's a Castle uh, 52. No, 5700 kV. I thought it was 52. 5700 kV um, motor. So it, it goes up to 3s lipo at the max or 10 sell nickel metal hydrides so basically i am driving or i have here is a traxxas slash onboard audio low budget edition because there is a onboard audio slash that's sold as a low center of gravity chassis but that's sold as a brushless uh, but has the brushless setup built into it like pre-installed so this one's basically a, a old a poor man's LCG slash with onboard audio. If you want to get the Richmond's, the Richmond's slash with OBA system LCG, you're gonna get the one with the brushless setup. But this one is not. But it's totally cool with me. Um, I'm not too sure if you can actually connect the OBA system to a Mamba Max Pro or any Castle system because I prefer Castle than Valenion, and I will make a video about Valenion and regards to Valenion and Castle. 
But um, because the reason why I'm saying this is the XL5 system has these extra wires that come out of the battery, the battery um, terminals, and it connects to this BEC connector. So I'm not too sure if that's supposed to be part of it or something that I can actually attach an external battery to it, like a receiver pack or something. But we'll see how it goes out. Yeah, because because the connecting it to the, from the ESC into the OBA system with just one battery is kind of wasteful. And because uh, I know that for a fact, because my six cell nickel metal hydro cannot stand stand up to it especially um this is my seven cell the battery that came with the slash oba is the same amperage milliamp hours as the six cell three thousand milliamps and and within like five minutes the the oba system just shut off like as if i burnt the engine or something or like popped the engine Compared to the seven cell, which has the same milliamp hour rating, that thing can last me about 15 20 minutes almost a half an hour of driving it. Almost a half an hour, I didn't, I'm not saying literally 20 um, 20 30 minutes. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying that it was longer than you know five minutes of driving with the OBA system on a six cell nickel metal hydride, but but it works though. Uh, I got nothing else to complain about it. Uh, the only thing I have to complain about it is <laughs> one more is these wires. Um, these two wires are short. That's the only thing I hate about that. When you attach them to the OBA system over here, but I got it in there. It works, and that's about it. So, so um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm planning to get to lower this slash as well as my other one. But at the moment, this one's going to be as it is. So in the bef so in the meantime, this will stay at in fairly stock form, except the upgraded chassis. And uh, once the shock oil goes out on this one, I will replace some new shock oil, and I'm going to make this lower, slightly lower, but not nothing too extreme, to the point that's really slammed. Because I still want this to to at least soak up some bumps and uh, be cool about it so don't expect me to drive this thing off-road all the time because I will not drive this thing off-road I barely have anything in my house that's like dirt and stuff so yeah there's my little quote-unquote upgrade because this is just not basically a a brushed slash with an LCG chassis so cheapo upgrade Poor man's, poor man's OBA LCG slash.